on welcome to a brand new video so thanks for subscribing here great video idea Greg's versus Dixon's so Dixon's is like the closest best butchers to me so I went there got a too good to go bag got a too good to go bag from Greg's picked up some other stuff to make this video let's get into it so starting off we're gonna have Greg's here we're gonna have Dixon's here then we're obviously gonna try both at the same time and see who is the winner Put down right now in the comments section what is your prediction before you see the ending. I think that uh, Greg's, because I love Greg's, is going to beat Dixon, but we'll see. Let's try. Starting off with sausage rolls. So we're going to try Dixon's sausage rolls first. So let's do the close-up of the sausage roll and then let's try. Mmm. Wow, I'm gonna have another bite of that, that's lovely. The pastry is super flaky and buttery. The sausage meat actually tastes like meat rather than just like slime, which a lot of sausage rolls tend to do. And you get a little bit of saltiness, a little bit of herbs in the meat, and you can tell that the sausage meat inside the sausage roll is really good quality, which to be fair, you probably would expect as it is a butcher's. Super tasty. Breaks. And of course, let's do the close up. It's just not as good, it's not. So the pastry is nowhere near as buttery, it's not as flaky. The sausage meat inside tastes a bit like slimy, like a lot of sausage rolls tend to. Dixon's by far is so much better. That sausage roll is not good at all. So Dixon's by far was the better sausage roll. So we're gonna go one point to Dixon's. They're in the lead here. So let's get in to the next round. So next, I tried a Dixon steak pie before. I haven't got them with me right now. I did try and get them at the same time, but when I went to the shops this morning, as you see me go, go they just didn't have them there. So I thought I'd review it anyways, because I have tried both. So next up, the Dixon steak pie was honestly the best steak pie I have ever had. The pastry was so buttery, super flaky. The steak pieces were such good quality because it was from a butcher's. It tasted honestly phenomenal and I'm not a massive pie eater as it is. It was honestly the best pie I've ever had. So I'm gonna say easy win for Dixon's there. <laughs> so already at 2-0 to the butcher's surprised us, surprised us greatly because I didn't think I was going to enjoy the sausage roll as much as I did so I thought at this point it would be a 1-1 but let's move on to the next round. So this is where this went a bit wrong this video <laughs> so also I've got to say if you could hear like a in the first two rounds it's because the oven was on, turned off now, I was cooking for my wife because she hurt her back and We'll get into that in different videos. Anyway, so too good to go back was actually super good. That's how I got sausage rolls, also got some meats, but obviously Greg's don't do meats. So I went back in, I thought, what else can I get? Because I know the comments said mainly savory. So I went in and had a look at the sandwiches, but the sandwiches like hot dip sandwiches and none of the sandwiches were the same. So I was like, well, I can't compare them because the sandwiches aren't the same. They do pork pies, Greg's don't do pork pies. What am I gonna do next? None of the things are matching up. And I thought, right, they have a, a tiny, tiny, Kooky and muffin section. I thought, well, this could work. I could do that too savory, too sweet, perfect. Didn't end up going perfectly because in the two good to go bag, I ended up with this lemon muffin. And I thought, right, I know Greg's have done it before when they didn't have a lemon muffin at all. They're chocolate and cinnamon. Thought that's not the same. Nay good. And I could have swore Dixon's, I saw them have a gingerbread in there. So I went there today and I picked up a gingerbread because Greg's is on the way. And when I got there, they didn't have the gingerbread in today. Instead, they had a triple chocolate cookie instead. <sighs> I didn't realise they get different cakes each day. I didn't realise this was a thing. I'm used to, to Greg's. They have the same thing every day. Anyways, we're going to try all these anyways. We're going to try and do similar ones to each other and just go from there. So now, finally, let's get into the next round. Greg's. I went and picked up a milk chocolate cookie. Let's try. I 
I mean, it's it's fine. It's very buttery, loads of vanilla, super tasty. The chocolate chunks are really nice, but the cookie itself is quite dry. So the outside is really crispy. Then the little bit on the inside, you expect to be a little bit more like soft and chewy. It's all just a bit dry. It's okay. It's not great. Triple chocolate cookie. Let's try. I have never tried it from Dixon's before, so I have no idea what it's going to be like. So from a visual standpoint, as I just showed you, it already looks better. It feels softer in my hand. Let's try. Wow. That is unbelievable. Like, I kind of believe I've never got a cookie from there before. Especially because the price of Greg's ones and the price of Dixon's ones was pretty much the same. It's like £1.50, I think, for this cookie from Dixon's. That is so good. It literally melts in your mouth as you bite it. You get smacked in the face with loads of chocolate flavour. It's really good. And the chunks of chocolate taste proper high quality as well. Really, really nice. Whereas the chocolate chunks from Greg's are nice, but you can tell it's not the best quality. This, by far, is honestly superior. It tastes a bit like a brownie in a cookie. That is so nice. Another point to Dixon. It looks like it's going to be a landslide here. Let's see. Let's try to the next round. So, Dixon's is a lemon muffin. Let's try. So I already thought I was going to be biased against Dixon's because I don't like lemon flavoured items. Maybe as I do now. That is so good. So you bite into it. The muffin is really, really soft and I'm surprised. It's in a too good to go bag as well. And I always say, I think it's going to be dry and it never is. But yeah, and it's still so soft. It's literally like, I don't know if you can see this. I don't think you can. But it's so spongy still. You get smacked in the face with lemon and a little bit of um, sugar crystals that were on the top. That is really, really tasty. So, the gingerbread that I thought they did, but they didn't do, ended up with a lemon muffin. Not quite the same, but this would be good because I love gingerbread. But that was really good. So if a lemon muffin beats gingerbread, which is like one of my go-tos, that just says it all, really. So it is that Greg's gingerbread tastes unbelievable. I absolutely love it every single time. But do you know what it is? It's, it's shocked us. The lemon muffin is better. I would, if I had to choose out of these two, I would choose the lemon muffin. I am literally in shock right now. Dixon's has just blown Greg's completely out of the water. Four nil, complete landslide. Greg's has just been absolutely like beaten up all over the gaff. What I might do in a future video, I won't do it straight away, but I might revisit this in like a few weeks time and do some sandwiches as well. And even if they aren't the same, try and get it as similar as I can and try them again. Because honestly, Dixon's there is so good. I don't know why I don't go to Dixon's. I literally never go there. I don't know why. I'm definitely going to go there again and get them chocolate cookies instead of the Greg's ones because wow, that honestly, I, I can't even wait for that. It's unreal. Like, this is just a great time and it has blown me away. <laughs> So, comment down below anything you want to see, the next verses, do you want us to see us do like Greg's versus something else, do you want us to see Dixon's versus something else, completely something else like Aldi Lidl, I know you guys want to see M&S Tesco Easter edition, that will be coming very soon, so yeah, let us know what you want to see, that is the end of the video now, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did hit that sub and like button, take care, stay safe, see you guys in the next one.